you have met a minister this morning. Uh, which message do you want to, to give to him? Well, what was interesting was that the message that I would want to give to him was the message that he wanted to give to me. <laughs> which is that actually real change happens at the, at, at the grassroots, happens at the community scale. And the role of ministers and of government is to remove the barriers, remove the obstacles and help that momentum to keep moving forward. And I, I was really fascinated with his observation that over the last five or six years here in Belgium, there has been a real growth in, in community action, whether it's around seeds, biodiversity, community energy, new enterprise, transition, all of these things growing very quickly. And to hear the minister say, my role is not to tell these people what to do, but it's to remove the obstacles and to give support. That's really, that's music to my ears. Could you, for example, uh, give some example uh, in a uh, foreign country about wha what, uh, what it works about transition? Yeah, I mean, one of the examples I love is in the Alsace, in, in Ungers, a place called Ungersheim, where they have a mayor there who is very inspired by transition and who has just completely changed the economic model for the development of that place. They've cut the carbon emissions by 600 tons a year, created 100 jobs. The children in the school uh, eat all organic food. They have uh, many, many remarkable projects. Yes. And, and, uh, but the, the thing that's really exciting for me about Ungersheim is that the, uh, when you go there, you see all of these projects where you can see food, energy, all coming together. But what you see that's most exciting is a community reconnecting to itself. You see the social uh, uh, fabric uh, being repaired. How do you imagine the world in uh, 2050? Uh, I imagine the world in 2050 as somewhere really delicious. As somewhere where, uh, uh, where which is much more diverse, much more human connection, much uh, better food and drink and more celebration where people are less anxious and less stressed and uh, where, where, where everything feels possible. So you are a utopic or an uh, optimist? I'm not a utopianist at all. And am I an optimist? I don't know. I, I, when I imagine the future, I, I am, all I am doing is, is piecing together things that I have already seen. I've seen fantastic urban agriculture projects. I've seen amazing community energy projects, cooperative wine projects, people growing their own fish. You know, that, that all, of, all of this stuff is already here. We just need to, 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 it's not a utopian because it's already here. It's just in different places. <laughs>